me again. Um, I'm continuing with um, the vintage lace video because my other one was a little bit rushed. I won't show you what I showed you in the previous one. I'll just carry on. Um, as I was saying, I am doing a guest book for my granddaughter and I was thinking of adding crocheting and lace into the book and I knew I had a lot of things downstairs in the kist and I was there early this morning while it was still cool and I thought I'd just share some of the stuff with you um, this here is my mom's mom's underwear this is a petticoat and I didn't um, dwell on the detail the last time but this is all cut work and embroidery look even the, the top here you know you you bring the fabric across and just work it I wouldn't have a clue how it it, it all needs a wash so um, I need some suggestions as how to wash it and what's interesting is that that this and this are a set if you see the the little flowers are the same You see the little leaves here are oh, the same as those there. These are uh, big panties. That's the other end. I think uh, a modern woman could make 10 pairs of panties with all this fabric. <laughs> um, of course I won't be cutting these up. You know on the one hand you wonder my mom kept them all her life and she's now gone and I've got them. Um, I have the same name as this granny. Her name was Zafiro, and that's where Zefi comes from. And as I said in my previous video, she grew up, she was born in a village on the island of Samos, which is on the eastern coast of Greece, in a village called Manolates. And um, it's, it must have been to Helen Gone back in the day. And um, this is what they created and you know guys this was just her underwear um, this is another panty that I'm showing you this is around the legs all of this lace and uh, she has bed sheets as well that are like this and pillowcases that are embroidered even with more detail this is also a panty that I'm holding now I'm doing this with one hand on my cell phone because my desk is in such a mess this is another panty or oh, a bloomer this one is well worn this must have been a favorite because it's really soft it's washed you, you know it's when cotton starts becoming soft and silky that's how this feels look at that isn't that too beautiful one wonders what we should do with it you know Look at look at this one. There's one on each leg, one bit like this on each leg. That's the sheet I showed you in the previous video, and then this. There are more curtains like this. This this must have been for either a throw, or they could have perhaps put it on a pillow. This is something completely different. I don't know how they used to do this. It almost looks like there's a net base with cotton and then they fill it up. They embroidered the net. Isn't that gorgeous? Anyway, these th th uh, things I've showed you now are definitely not for uh, cutting up. That's definitely going in the mini album. Um, let me pull up a chair because I'm bending over. My back is getting sore. Oh, and then I found this, uh, let me see where I put it, oh, uh, this was given to me by uh, a friend, a very good family friend when I got married as a wedding present and I had these on my dressing table for many years, but um, because I had like a, a white dressing, you know, bedroom suite and that really looked pretty, I don't use these anymore, they, they silk and they're hand embroidered so I'm thinking of putting that into the baby's book 
and um, oh, then I found my mom had crocheted this. This was uh, a little sheet, a flannel sheet that I put in my daughter's uh, carry cot when she was a baby. That's the baby's mommy. So I thought I might use that for a base. And then I found these. I think my mom made these. All hand embroidered. They say when you look at embroidery you should look at the back. I'm thinking of putting that bit into the book too. Um, then I found this. I don't think my mom did this. I don't know who did this. Um, it's actually, I actually was a little bit heart sore today because these things were all um, from a kist from the village because my mom uh, renovated the house she was born in when she, you know, she lived in South Africa and then when she eventually went back home to Greece, she renovated the, her paternal home and um, this was all in there. Look, um, this is just a runner, a shelf. This must have been to put along a shelf to make it pretty. I might put a bit of this in there. And then I'll show you this bit. I don't want this video to be too long because I'm not sure if it will upload from my cell phone. This too is a little goodie for shelves. This, uh, my mom's stepmother must have made this because my mom's mom died when my mom was three so my grandfather remarried and I think this is what my other gran must have made. That's her work. She used to work with very fine cotton. She lived in the, in the village in um, Samos all her life. Okay, this, this I think is a, a bought one. Okay, and then I'll carry on with another video. Okay, ladies and gents, bye.